Hey guys, welcome to part four of our Ionic series. In the last video, we made it so that we could add a to-do in our form here in the application, and it then got sent to Firebase. So this doesn't do us much good because we can't actually see them. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, what, we're go what we'll do is go to our to-dos controller, and we're going to say scope dot to-dos is going to equal uh, to do service dot all alright and that's all there is to it now we have our to do's inside of this scope variable so what we'll do is go to our index and go to our template here and what we need to do is we need to loop through our to do's and then output them as a list item so let's go let's see we're going to go right here and we're going to say ion list. All right, uh, and then we'll end that. Okay, now we need to loop through these. So we're going to say ion item and we're going to use a directive called ng repeat. Okay, that's an Angular directive that's used for looping through stuff. All right, so uh, remember we put scope.todos as our variable. So we can say, uh, to do in to do's. Okay, just like that. Uh, and then let's see, we're going to have a div. And let's give this a class of item. All right, and then inside of it, we're going to have some uh, double curly braces. And let's see, we should be able to just say name. Actually, no, not just name. It should be to do to do dot name. Yeah. OK, so let's save it. And there we go. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take out this item div. That makes it look a little weird. There we go. Awesome. So now if we add another to do, let's say um, go shopping and save. And there we go. Actually, it looks like it's putting in a blank to do here. Let's check out Firebase. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it is actually putting in an empty to do. So let's go back to save to do, which is right here. And this is where we're saving it. Let me try getting rid of this. All right, and I'm actually going to delete that from Firebase. All right, so we'll reload, we'll say test item. All right, so that was the issue. I'm not sure why, um, but whatever, it's, it's fixed now. So what we want to do now is I want to be able to delete these or set them as checked or whatever you want to call it. So what we'll do is add an event handler so that we can click on these to get rid of them. All right, I'm not going to go into editing them and updating them. Maybe that's something that you could try to figure out on your own. Um, it's not too difficult to do, but I mean, it's only one field, so I don't really see a need to edit them. It, it'd be quicker just to click on it, delete it, and then re-add it. All right, so let's go into our HTML, and we're going to just add a div right here. And this is going to get... Uh, a directive called uh, ng click and we're going to set that to remove to do okay 
All right, now we'll go to our controller and let's go right under save to do. And we're going to call this remove to do. All right, that's going to equal a function. Oops. Okay, and that's going to take in an ID. So actually, we have to put that in here as well. So this is going to be to do dot dollar sign ID. All right, and then in the controller, let's just test it out. We'll say console dot log ID. All right, now if I click one, you can see down there we're getting its ID. All right, so I want to use something called Ion Ionic Action Sheet. And it'll make it so that when we click on this, we'll get a nice little pop up here that'll ask us if we're sure we want to delete. All right. Now to use that, we actually have to include it up here in our dependencies. So it's going to be Ionic Action Sheet. All right. And then down here, I'm going to say Ionic Action Sheet dot show. Um, yeah, dot show. And then we'll pass in curly braces we're gonna have a couple different op options here first one is destructive text all right and that's gonna be we'll say remove to do next one will be the title text so for that we'll say are you sure and then we're gonna have the cancel text which will just be cancel. All right, and then we're going to have a function called destructive button clicked. All right, and that's going to be a function. All right, now in here we need the ID of the removed, the, the uh, to do that we want to remove. So we can say scope dot to do's dot dollar sign get record and then just pass in the ID all right and then we're gonna say scope dot to do's dot dollar sign remove and then we'll pass in that REM variable all right and then we just need to return or return true so let's save that and if I click one of these we get this nice little pop-up remove to do and it's gone all right, so we can now add to do's and remove them. Awesome. So in the next part, the last part, I'm going to show you how we can go ahead and run this on the virtual device that uh, Android Studio gives us, and also how to publish an APK file so that you can actually install it on your physical device.